Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at a young lady from Paula Young by the name of Rosalie, and this is her right here. I have her in the color Honey, that's SF1228, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Coco and it's a beautiful day in Coco's Hair Solutions. This is the young lady we're gonna be looking at today. Her name is Rosalie and she is in the color Honey. This is by Polly Young and she is a longer shoulder length bob with a long side swept bang. So we're gonna see how she looks. I've got her in the box here right now. There's her numbers. So let's go ahead and get her out. Okay, here she is, and this is the color Honey. Now, it happens to be the exact same color of the wig I have on today, which is Dallas by Polly Young. And I thought I would have her on when we go to try her on because they look so similar. This one's a little longer, and we're going to see how they compare. But look at these beautiful loose waves. Oh my gosh, they are just darling, aren't they? And then of course it's dark. With the SF1228, we have the lighter blondes around the front of the face and framing the face. And then they graduate down to a darker nape. Oh my gosh, I bet she's gonna be beautiful. I don't know if I wanna comb out any of those, those waves, but we will comb out this zigzag part. But before we do anything, let's go ahead and look at her cap construction. So this young lady, Rosalie, is a combination of open and closed wefts. We've got open wefts on the right and left, but in the center and the far right and far left, we have closed lace, as well as on the crown, which is going to allow us to have a little bit of permatease. So we can get a little bit more volume and yet have some breathability and it's not so dense up there. We also have a really nice wide velveteen band going across the forehead um, for comfort. We've got open ear tabs on the right and left with stitches underneath coming out. We've got the metal stays in both. We also have an extended open nape. Now on this young lady, we have stays, metal stays in the nape. And I'm thinking, yes, we have metal stays in this young lady as well. So that's gonna be really nice because what we can do is make that hug our neck and prevent some of that friction frizz that would naturally occur down here. So that's gonna give you a better fit as well as prevent wear and tear on your wig. And then of course, we've got the Velcro adjusters on the right and left and lots of horizontal rows of curtains, hair curtains that creates all these wefts and all that wonderful fit. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and try her on. I've already told you that what I have on is Paula Young's Dallas in the color SF1228, honey. Same exact color as this. This is Rosalie, this is Dallas. All right, let's try on Rosalie. Okay, up at the hairline, even those tabs and make them cup my head, the ear tabs. And then I'm going to make sure that the stays are adjusted underneath my wig grip band and are, oh gosh, that fits so comfortable. That, that really does feel nice. Alrighty, so what we have is a little longer bob and I did not at the time undo that zigzag part, but I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to wake up those fibers up here on top. In fact, maybe I will use a different comb to be a little less frizz making. <laughs> okay, so any kind of wide tooth comb is going to work really well. Um, just depending on what you want to do. Here's another type, which is going to be a little easier for me to manipulate with this particular wig. So what we have Oh gosh, she's so cute, isn't she? Now I haven't done anything to her except for just comb off the top of this crown area. 
you know, she wants to slip back. So probably my wig grip band is not as secure as it should be. But I'm going to, no, I'm going to use my fingers for the rest of it. So she is originally parted on the left. And that's where that zigzag part was. And I'm finding that when the part is in a zigzag on that side, it's not, especially from the factory, it's not going to give me the appearance of being something natural or freshly coiffed, um, if that's really a word. <laughs> anyway, but if I move the part to the other side, and especially with a cap construction that has the same thing on both sides. So we had the, you know, the open wefts with some optional closed um, lace and the same thing on the right, uh, other side. So I find that when I do reverse that part, it really does make a difference. Okay, so you can see how this is setting a little bit differently on my face and my forehead than it did on the other side. Now, oh, I, I'm gonna just do a spin right now. She looks so nice and I really like this length. Okay, now I've got the cap. I can see or feel the, the tag poking out of the wefts. I don't know if we'll see them. Okay, let's try this, okay? All right, first spin with Rosalie. Oh my gosh, I think she's darling. If you like a lot of curl and bouncy waves, oh my goodness. This is so nice. Okay. Just grazes my shoulders, my, um, my, yeah, my shoulders right here. Let's, let me read about her. Okay. Let's take a look. So Rosalie, flattering side part and loose tussled curls. Give this stylish mid-length a sexy carefree look. Well, I like that. <laughs> okay, she comes in an average size only. It's eight inches in the front, 10 inches on the top and crown, nine inches on the sides and upper back. So all of this up here is nine inches, comes down, and then six and a half inches at the nape. Oh, but don't you love this? This is so stinking cute. Oh my goodness, I could wear her as a every day. You know, it's a little bit longer than the Dallas that I had on, and that's a cute little bob, isn't it? Those could be a war part of a wardrobe. You could have the Dallas for a little shorter, and then pretend you're letting your hair grow out and wear Rosalie. Oh gosh, how cute. And they're only about an inch or so different in their measurements, so they're the perfect companions perfect companions. Okay, they come in, she comes in 21 colors. And so all of Paula Young's preferred colors. Now, let's take a look at that hairline. So we've got a little bit of a forward um, extension out of the cap, which makes that look less artificial. And so if we just leave it like that, it's going to stay out of my eyes with my glasses. Um, you know, if I lean forward, it's going to caress my cheeks, but it's not going to um, get in my way. You know, I do have this one little piece right here. This one little part that wants to come out. So we can probably find a way to get her back in there. But, oh, look at those curls. They're so cute. Oh, they're just wonderful. And it feels really nice on. Oh, gosh, that's so cute. Well, I can see with this little girl, she, um, we could put a bandana on top. We can use headbands. You can use clips to pull her back and up. And that even makes her look dressy. Oh gosh, look at even just pulling this up and back. It increases the volume a little bit on, on, uh, the profile. So we want to be sure and leave some of those tendrils so that they, um, disguise the hairline. And of course, they look so cute with some of these highlighted areas, don't they? But if you really want to um, dress her up, you could very easily, very easily take and put some clips in her on the sides. And of course, they could be dressy clips or they could just be nondescript, you know, making sure that they're um, just a little bit uh, disguised 
you know, you don't have to always wear bling and it can just take over as far as um, being cute. So, I mean, this is so cute and it gives her a sense of real curliness, you know, like maybe corkscrew, but not quite as extreme, you know, because some people can't pull off the tight little tiny curls that are in a corkscrew uh, hairstyle. But when we have loose barrels and um, just lots and lots of body, this is so fun, isn't it? So there, that's really cute. Pulling that up and back. Oh my gosh. I, you know, and this reminds me of the 50s, the pompadour kind of look, but I do like that. I like the way that that comes off of my hairline. And if I wanted to, I could take and add a, a soft shadowing of root cover up right along here so that it would gradually, I mean, we wouldn't have that stop start. See how you can see the difference between the stop start? I know, I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean, okay? Okay, so this is the brand of root cover up that I use. I have its link down below in the description box. It's called Belle Ame. I don't know if you can see that because it's a highly reflective, highly reflective surface, but it comes, comes with a little brush. It has a stiff brush on one end and then, okay, a stiff brush on one end and then a blending brush on the other end. And this color is medium brown. So I just take, and you can tell I use it a lot. So I just take and rub this bristle brush in here. And then what I do is at, in those areas, and especially where the color doesn't match, what I'll do is I'll start at the hairline and I'll just go up and down along the hairline and blend that into there. Okay, now you can see the color is kind of being dispensed a little bit and it makes it a little bit softer, almost like a gradual, like a hairline would represent. And so I would do that all the way down here along my hairline. I'll show you what that looks like. So starting at the at the cap and then coming forward along to cover my gray. Now that's, that's how I would do it. And I would continue this all the way down. You know, I, you put the bulk of the, the color by the cap and then you start to blend it towards your hairline because you don't want to deposit too much dark shadow if they're <laughs> dark shadows. Yeah, um, you don't wanna to put too much color right at this part because you want it to be gradual. So because you what the idea is to create an illusion that there is a hairline. So even if the wind blows it back, it's not going to look like a stop start. You're not going to see my deep, my gray and my silver against the, the brown of the cap. So you get that option of being able to blend it. So look at the difference on this side versus this side. See, easy, easy peasy. <laughs> okay, well, let me play around with some scarves and stuff. Cute, cute. <laughs> and who could resist this darling headband and all these curls? Not me. And when you have a really full hairstyle, you can get these oversized headbands and they're perfect for wearing with these girls. Isn't that darling? Well, let me get her wet just to see what these uh, curls are gonna look like, a little more defined. Okay, so all I did was get her wet on the surface and I'm just kind of scrunching the curls. <sighs> This is such a cute, cute wig. I am so surprised that I have not tried her any time before, but I love this length. I love the curl. Oh, beautiful. I might even think she'd be looking good in a the silvery moon. I might want that one. 
So this is Rosalie in the color Honey, SF1228 by Paula Young. She is a great little wig. I hope you've enjoyed seeing her. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll join me next time on Coco's Hair Solutions. Bye-bye.